woman. You may not have clarity on your purpose now, but it gets clearer along the journey. And that is why we bring you the Deborah Generation Show, where we will be redefining our position in the journey of womanhood. Join me on Wema TV's YouTube channel as we learn and unlearn from the different portraits of biblical women and get inspired by amazing real life experiences from the guests that we'll be having on this show. See you then. For a long time, for a whole lifetime, as I can say, a woman has been put in a box to think a certain way, to believe a certain way, to think that she can only achieve so much, or she can be this type, she cannot go beyond this and that. But yet God created a woman to bring a difference in this world, actually. He saw it that a man or this world needed a woman so that the world can get the help that it needed. So the woman has so much to give. The woman has great potential because God has put in her the ability and the potential to be everything and anything she can dream about and all that God has put inside of her to become. She has such great wealth and such great gifts to give to the world. And that is why we are here, to speak to you, the woman. Arise and shine, because your light has come. And it's about time that you become that person, that executive, that great leader that you have always dreamt, that you have always admired, you can become anything and everything that God purposed for you to be. Welcome to the Deborah generation. My name is Helen Wangoi Mathu. I am delighted for us to go through this journey just to inspire, empower, equip, and build the woman to be all that God has created us to be. And in this show, we will be looking at different portraits of women that stood out in the Bible. Women that you can look up to. Because we, we, we more often than not look at the, the word of God with the masculinity uh, mindset. But we have women, great women that arose, great women that stood out in the journey of, of the Bible that we can look up to and even just mold and shape uh, the way we think, the way we do things to, as we look up to these women because they are great examples and therefore it will be such an exciting journey. So call your girlfriend, call your sister, call your mother, call that neighbor, that girl. Please make sure that you join together and be expectant for great and mighty things that we are going to learn in this journey. Karibu sana. So Deborah Generation uh, uh, invites a, f a friend and a good minister of the gospel that is going to take us through the portrait of Bo Deborah just to give us a snippet of what is ahead of us, what we are going to be looking at in the coming days. Karibu sana, Pastor Miriam. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend Helen, for this, this moment and for this consideration. I don't take it for granted. And as you, I was listening to you talking about the woman, yeah, for some good while a woman has culturally been looked at as the second person, which may be true or not true, depending on the setting. And so we have realized that in the Bible, there are great women who did great things, who called men to arise to the occasion and bring salvation to their communities. And um, as you talked about Deborah generation, I am thinking of Deborah, a woman, 
in the book of Judges. Mm -hmm. And the Bible opens in Judges chapter 4. That's where we would do our reference mainly for this one. And we look at a story of a judge who was prior and died and was buried. And then Israel went away from God and sinned. And then Deborah, the Bible says, she's categorized in three good categories as a, a prophet or a prophetess, a wife, and a judge. Mm. She was judging Israel at that time. Maybe we would say that prophetic, prophecy was or the prophet's office. Mm -hmm. Let me correct that. The mm -hmm. prophet's office is a lifelong calling. Mm. And being a wife, as long as you've entered marriage, it's lifelong until mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. But then the office of a judge would be limited to tenure of a kind. And um, I've been thinking lately of how blessed we are in our country to have a woman chief justice. Mm. And uh, looking at Deborah, we would get so close. For the Kenyan, we would look at it and get to understand that we have a lady justice and she's in charge of the whole uh, system of, um, of uh, justice or the court systems mm. in Kenya. Mm. And we are looking at a portrait from the Bible, a person of a similar you know, gender. Mm. And then it comes so close home. And there's something we are trying to tell women that we can do. We can have a godly office. We can raise the voice of God on behalf of God to the people. Mm. We can have good families and we can also run offices. And we don't have to allow anybody to scare us that if you're a prophet or a, or a pastor, mm. then you are not supposed to have a good family. Mm. Or you're not supposed to do the government work. Mm. And for a long time, women have had to fight their way and look for equality and mm. say, what a mm. man can do, mm. I can do better. Mm. It might be true and it could be proved true with, mm. with, with statistics mm -hmm. that when you give women places when their hearts are there, mm. they will do the best and they will tell everybody, please come and get your share. Mm. And this is what Deborah did. Deborah was a judge when Israel was really being fought by her, their enemies. Mm -hmm. And she arose to the reality of having to see men, children, anybody being affected by the war. Mm -hmm. And just like mostly you'll see a woman, when she sees things are not going right, mm -hmm. she's able to shout. She can scream. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say men die, kimwanaume. <laughs> you know, men can die with problems. Yeah. But women will always look for a solution. Yes. And this is what Deborah did. When she realized that Israel was being fought by her enemies, mm. she went to the, 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 the army commander. Yes and asked him to arise mm. and take up his office, mm -hmm. take, us, take up his official role. Mm -hmm. She didn't go out there and say, I'm the one who's going to fight. <gasps> she respected the position yes. of this man, Barak, yes. and told him, arise, mm. come over, mm -hmm. and go and uh, gang up mm -hmm. your, your army, mm -hmm. and put every system in place, yes. and get out there and fight the enemies of Israel. Yes. So why do we want to look at Deborah precisely? Mm -hmm. It is because she's painting a picture for every woman mm -hmm. to see her position in God, yes. first of all, yes. then to see her position in the family, mm -hmm. and to see a position in the marketplace, mm -hmm. as well as in the formal uh, you know, formal, formal, setup. formal setup mm -hmm. or the workplace mm. and the change she can implement mm -hmm. and the way she can help somebody else mm -hmm. to be able to take their roles and fight for the victories of the generations. Yes. And so that is why we are looking and starting to look at Deborah. Yes. That doesn't mean we won't look at someone else. Mm -hmm. We will look at pe other people mm. and see what contribution mm -hmm. they are bringing to us. Wonderful. Yes. And what I love about, uh, as I've studied the, the, the book of Judges and looking at all the judges and the character especially of Deborah, mm -hmm. Deborah did not arise with arrogance no. to say that whatever a man can do, a woman can do better. Mm -hmm. That is not what we want to achieve. Mm -hmm. We want to call out the woman to arise in her God-given position with the humility of God mm -hmm. that you understand that 
man has his position that God has given unto him. Yeah. And you as a woman has a position that God has given unto you. It's not a competition. It's about walking in the purpose and in the journey that God has given unto you. You as the helper become the greatest helper mm -hmm. the man can always look at, the society can always look at, the, that friend, that, that company, that office, become the help, the solution giver, the greatest that they have ever been. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are here to do. Yeah. So thank you so much. Before, I actually wanted to go back to the reference of the Bible and just, I love this description of, of Deborah. Since I, I had this description, this has been the thing that I have been talking about. That who was Deborah? Mm -hmm. Deborah was a spirit filled, multi talented woman. Deborah rose in ancient Israel as a female judge whose multiple leadership functions demonstrate the possibility of any woman who will allow God's spirit to fill and form her life. She became a celebrated leader of political influence. The authority, while maintaining the grace and the dignity of womanhood, Deborah also acquired a reputation as a wise settler of disputes and as an arbitrator of justice, counselor, wife, prophetess, and deliverer in times of war. Wow. <laughs> the possibilities are limitless. Her successful mobilization of the Israelite militia demonstrated her leadership ability and spiritual insight. Under her leadership, the people witnessed God's providential assistance in the form of a massive storm and the defeat of Sisera's superior, superior armed force. Deborah depicts the finest the finest possibilities of a gifted and a God-fearing woman who allows the Spirit of God to develop her full capacities to impact the world around her. I don't need to say anything more. And if only we can allow God to shape us and form us and walk us through the different possibilities and opportunity that each and every one of us has in their spaces. Imagine the greatness that your community, your family, your society, the world will experience. So, don't miss out on this amazing, incredible, journey that we are about to take. Thank you very much. See you next time.